Determine if the sequence converges or diverges. If it converges, find the limit, solution. So we'll start by taking the limit as n approaches infinity. And we have e to the n over 4 to the n. You'll notice everything is being raised to the nth power. So it's a good idea to write this as follows. Limit, n goes to infinity, e over 4 to the n. Now we have to think about what e is. e is approximately 2.7. So e over 4 is less than, well, e is less than 3, let's say. And that's less than 1. So we, this here is a number, and it's less than 1. That's the point. So whenever you have a number that's less than 1, and you're raising it to the nth power, it gets closer and closer to 0. So the answer here is 0. So in this case, the sequence converges, and this is called the limit of the sequence. If you're not convinced that this is the case, take a simpler example. Say you have 1 half to the n. The first term is 1 half. The next term is 1 half squared, so 1 over 2 squared, so 1 over 4. Then it's 1 over 8, 1 over 16, etc. So these terms here get closer and closer and closer to 0. So this eventually approaches 0. Hope that made sense.